Only on 7 tonight, imagine waking up and seeing this out your front window. A stuffed animal hanging from a tree with a noose tightened around its neck. The Bryant family lives on Long Lake. They're African-American and say this isn't the first time they've been harassed because of their race. The family moved into their home two years ago. The disturbing discovery came this morning. My daughter found it. She found it this morning. She was out, uh, you know, just gardening around the tree, and she came and told my husband. And he came and told me. I guess they didn't really want to alert me because I was really upset about it. I was angered over it. And it's not the first time the family has felt they were being harassed and targeted because of their race in the two years they've owned the home. I don't know who it is. I know some of the people here are friendly and some of the people here are downright ignorant. Bryant is a real estate agent who sells homes in the area. The family lived in West Bloomfield before moving on the lake. We're African Americans and there's not many of us on this lake. And um, it's really gotten to be not everyone, but there's a select few that they don't want us out here. Jill's husband, Edward, spent 37 years with the Detroit Police Department. Yes, I like it. I love it out here. Serenity. You know, you can come out and drink a cup of coffee. It's quiet most of the time, except for the people that stop by and pay us visits. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office confirms they're investigating the incident. Bryant says it's the second call they've had to make to police since owning the home. He says he's going to beef up the protection. He's given us added security now, special attention. 